Linear phase FIR filters are widely used. They have a group delay which is N minus 1 over 2, or alpha, right across the whole frequency range. And this is sometimes, however, considered to be excessive. In the category of reduced delay filters, we attempt to, re to reduce the group delay below alpha, at least across the passband, while preserving pretty reasonably the gain characteristics involved. Here's a spec of a typical sort of design we might be going for. We're going to have a 0.2 cutoff of a low pass filter. We're going to have a passband ripple we hope of 0.02. Transition width less than 0.1. Hope to have a stop band attenuation greater than 40 dB. And here's the part that's going to exercise our energies. We're going to try to have a passband group delay of 13.8 samples plus or minus 0.1. Extending from DC right across to 0.2. So in Slifer, we'll try going for a 41 coefficient. I'm changing this and up in the upper right hand corner. I'm going for a brick wall type design and therefore editing this to see my target profile drop down. I'm going to look in terms of absolute gain and I'm going to go over here to the cameo plot to have a look at my group delay. Well there it is flat at 20 which is what I expect with 41 coefficients. Now we'd like to reduce that 20 down to 13.8. So what we can do is come up to the fractional delay. In fact, inject a bit more than fractional. We'll have integer plus fractional delay of minus 6.2 plus the 20 should give us our 13.8. Well, roughly speaking, this has happened. We can see the impulse response is now offset and the thing is asymmetric as we should expect. Now we've upset the gain in doing this because we've made such a large jump over and I'm pro proposing that we apply windowing to this to bring it back under control. I'm going to use a Blackman window. I happen to like pretty much in this uh, context of this sort of problem. It's an offset window. In fact all of these windows are offset and are able to take this unsymmetric sort of situation that we're confronted with. You know, notice how nice and flat it is here. And now the question is that the group delay. I can see that the group delay has gone quite funny. This is not too surprising. Let me get a grid on this so we can see everything a little bit better. I've clicked that twice. And I'm going to furthermore bring this over and toggle this into this window here. Now it's not unusual for group delays uh, plots to be very crazily over captured here by great great huge uh, glitches. We have to clip them because they are after all derivatives of uh, phase characteristics which are, are discontinuous. I'm going to make this a range of 14 down to 13.6. That should capture my range that I'm after and indeed it does. 13.8 is right here. I'm hoping to be able to pull this in. It's not too hard looking right here. It seems to only be exceeding right here at this edge at the moment. I'd like to get this inside the plus and minus one boundaries right here. I'm going to do this by going up to the setup situation giving myself complete freedom to move these so-called pearls, these frequency samples which at the moment have been aligned with DFT grid points because this is the frequency sampling design technique. Now if I start moving some of these very gingerly hopefully I can pull this ripple here in. I'm allowed to pull them anywhere I want to in this so-called freedom mode and ooh, just about done it there. Um, ah, I have done it now. I've made some very slight movements here and I can see that in fact my group delay has uh, very nicely fit into this range all the way out to 0.2. In fact it's gone a bit more than that. It's gone almost to 0.25 even though my gain is rolling down. The question though is whether or not I've actually achieved my specification. I can go under view and have a quality measure come up and I need to also remember what my original uh, specification was. I'll bring that up. I've got that somewhere here. Yes, here's my spec. I'll just bring it up here alongside to see what we've managed to do. We wanted to have 
a cutoff frequency of about 0.2. Well, you can see that it, it, it is. Uh, the transition width should be 0.1. Well, we've just fit under that with a 0.09 reading here. Our pass band ripple should be less than 0.02, which it is. Our stop band ripple should be 40 dB. And then the, the pass band group delay, we've already seen that we've managed to achieve that. So here we are, we've done a mixture of over design with our 41 coefficients. We've then uh, done a, a fractional delay to bring it down into the region of the right sort of passband group delay. And then last but certainly not least, in Slifer we've been able to manipulate the frequency pearls to bring that design right in.